In this video, I will show you how to draw a DNA strand using the brand new intertwine feature. It's super easy, uh, so I'm going to get right into it. So first, first off, I drew a, a line. So I'm going to hold shift and drag. And so I drew a line. I'm going to increase this roughly to about that thick, maybe a seven point font, go up to effect. Go over to Destroy, uh, Distort and Transform. Go down to Zigzag, and I'm not going to recreate it, but just show you. I'm just show you the rough steps that I did to do it. Um, increase the number of segments. Change it to smooth. Increase the size to roughly about that much. Click OK. Go up to Object, um, Expand, Appearance, and Object Expand again. And what that does is it creates a filled object as opposed to a line. And then you can change the color of the fill. You know, maybe with the green fill with a black outline. Now you can keep it like that, or you can even go one step further like I did here. And make it a repeated gradient. To do that, draw that rectangle. Go over here to linear gradient. Double click on this. And I made it a light green, clicked over here, made it a dark green, dragged this one over to the center, double clicked again, and made it a light green. And I just did the same thing for the, the blue, I just alternated the colors. I then went up to, clicked on the swatches, again if you don't see that, go up to window and go down to swatches. And I did this and I just dragged it over till I see that plus sign and that will add that swatch to it. I then clicked on the line and just clicked on the swatch and it'll add that swatch to the end of all of your current swatches. That'll just give it a little more of a 3D effect. But this video specifically is about the next thing I'm about to do which is the intertwine feature. So here I have two lines uh, that I've just overlaid with each other. And to make this look like a DNA strand, I need this line to overlap, to go above this green line, and then go under the green line, and then over the green line, and then under the green line. Now, in the past, there was no way of doing that. I had to do a complicated cutting process. In fact, I have other videos where I did that cutting process. But you don't need to do that here. You can just select the two objects, go up to Object, go down to intertwine and then click make and they did this nice thing where I can just circle the section that I want to flip the order of so I want the blue to come in front and that's exactly what it did I'm just gonna skip over to the next one and do the same thing and I want to make sure I circle the whole intersection this is gonna be important for the next step so I'm just going to do this, go along the line. Okay. And so uh, it creates a nice um, 3D appearance. Um, you can change this however you want. It does even complex rasterized objects like the 3D inflate. If you don't know how to do that, uh, just if I draw a line here, let's make it... Uh, green and fill the line and then click uh, effect 3d materials and inflate and and there it inflates that line for you and you can create the increase the thickness so you do all the other things that you did before here like you add the zigzag and so forth you just you don't need to do all the expanding you can just add the zigzag and then create the inflate. And what I recommend doing is clicking on this. I actually don't know what, the, I think this is ray tracing. Click on the ray tracing button here. And lighting, you might want to put to the top left to make it a little better. Okay. But I won't go into the details. Mainly this is to show that I can do the same sort of thing, the, um, the intertwine right here. So I click select the both objects. 
go down to intertwine, make, and now here it's really important that I select the entire object. So I want to select, so select the entire intersection. If you don't, it causes an issue. So for instance, let's say I, I wasn't quite as good at circling it. See how it made a mistake there? And it doesn't matter how many times I try to fix that, it's always going to make a mistake. So it's okay as long as I select the entire, oh, see I made a mistake again. Let's not do that. Anyways, super cool feature. So now even with the 3D appearance, I can um, intertwine these objects. So th they did a great job with this. I love it. So there you go. That's how you make DNA strand with using the intertwine feature.